When you're asked to evaluate an expression, it means you've got to plug in a number into the expression. So we're going to plug negative 15 in for m well, when you're asked to evaluate, when you, when, like these questions. It's not all the time the case. Okay, but anyway, uh, you're going to plug negative 15 right in for m. You're going to plug 7 in for n. Okay, so if I do that, if I plug negative 15 where m goes, and I add 7, if I plug in a 7 where n goes, then I've got an addition problem, and then I'm done. I'm done evaluating. I just got to figure out what this is. And so negative 15 plus 7, start with the number that's on the left. We're starting with negative 15. And then we add 7 to it. And when you add numbers, you go to the right of the number line, right? So we should be getting closer to 0. So it's like taking 15 and subtracting it by 7. Okay, so I do encourage you to think about the number line. If you don't know off the top of the head what's going to happen, um, you know, with negative 15 plus 7. If you're not sure what to do, draw negative 15 and then think about which direction you should be going if you add 7. And then on 309, we got to do it twice. One when m equals 5 and then do it again when m equals negative 5. So let's do a first. I'm going to plug in 5 for m. So i got to do multiplication first now. 3 times 5 makes 15. Now 10 subtracted by 15 makes negative 5. So for B, I've got to plug in negative 5 in for M. So if you do that, oh, I've got to multiply first. Now there's a couple of different ways you can think of this. There's two different ways. <laughs> yeah, three, A positive 3 times a negative 5 makes a negative 15, but you can't just use this negative sign out here, you've produced another negative sign, so that should say subtracting a negative 15. Or you could just say, look, I, this is a negative 3 times a negative 5, that makes a positive 15. Right? Subtracting a negative, adding, those are the same thing. So we should get 25 for our result here.